Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Langmaid with Research That Matters TV. Movement is one of the best ways to recover from back pain. Science has shown us that medications and rest are a few of the least effective ways to find relief. Your body is designed to move, and it's often a lack of daily movement or chronic postural changes that cause back pain to begin in the first place. Discovering the right movements and exercises can help you recover more quickly and prevent back pain episodes in the future. Your body has three primary types of movement, segmental, regional, and whole body. Segmental motion occurs between the individual joints of your body. Regional movement occurs in a body region, such as your neck or your mid-back, and whole body movement is typically what we think of as exercise. All three types are essential and work together to keep your spine and musculoskeletal system healthy and functioning at its best. Segmental movement is moving the individual joints of your body and what chiropractors are specifically trained to do. Proper segmental motion can help reduce pain, improve your range of motion, and influence your central nervous system. Regional movement is that second type. Dynamic stretching with regional range of motion exercises can actually reduce low back stiffness. And finally, whole body exercise. Daily whole body exercise can help your brain and body feel better as well as improve your rest and recovery at night. The foundation of all movement is segmental. If your joints aren't moving correctly, then you'll never be able to optimize your regional or your whole body movement. Moving may be the last thing you want to do if you're struggling with back pain, but top research organizations have continued to find that proper movement and exercise are the two best ways to find relief from pain. If you've dealt with back pain, give us a call today. Our team will be happy to provide you with a complete movement assessment and personalized movement exercise plan to help you get and stay well for years to come. I'll see you next week for another episode of Research That Matters TV.